Hello everyone, it's Aika with Coon Cat Creations here and today I'm going to be working on a commission for a client of mine. He wanted me to draw um, this cute little this cute little collie that is also a friend's character of mine uh, that I've drawn before, which is kind of funny. Um, but yeah. So this is my first like talking video while I draw, so bear with me. <laughs> but yeah, so I have these uh, wind chimes in the background. I hope that they're kind of soothing instead of like bothersome. Uh, if you guys don't like it, let me know in the comments below and I'll change it for the next video. I'm just kind of testing the waters here. But yeah, I'm working on this badge. Uh, the character's name is Rebel. They're a Australian Shepherd Border Collie mix. When I get to the colors, it's going to be pretty exciting because I love the coloration of this character. I just realized I hope my hand wasn't in the way the whole time. <laughs> That'd be pretty unfortunate. But I'm just working on the line art right now. Uh, I have already gone over it with pencil. Uh, and now I'm just going over with my... What are these? I'm using the Copic midliners this time. I also use the Microns too. I really like both of these markers. So I don't know if many of you know this, but I'm getting married next year and me and my fiance have started working on our uh, getting stuff together for it. We finally picked a theme. It's going to be a fantasy type theme, which I think is going to be super fun to do. We're going to have like all kinds of flowers and maybe some flute music. Uh, we're still kind of working on the color combination for it. Not really sure what we want to do for that yet. So I'm on spring break too, which is pretty great, which is why I finally get a chance to work on this. He commissioned me quite a while ago, like maybe like two weeks ago, for quite a few um, different character badges for me to do for him. Uh, all of different characters. I think he had five that he wants and a headshot of his own character, um, which should be pretty fun, actually. I, I'm actually really looking forward to these, this, these commissions. Uh, this is like one of my favorite things to draw as characters, so it doesn't really matter to me what character it is. Although I think it's pretty fun when it's friends of mine. I'm excited to see her reaction when she sees the finished product. She's commissioned me and we've done a couple trades, uh, but it's been quite a while and I haven't talked to her for a while either. Um, 
but Sorry, I got concentrated on that eye. <laughs> um, but yeah, we used to do a couple trades, but I haven't heard from her in quite a while. So it'll be kind of fun to see what her reaction is to this picture of Rebel. I've taken a figure drawing class since the last time she commissioned me. So, personally, I think this one's coming out a lot better than my old artwork used to. Alright, time for colors. Guys, <laughs> this is like one of my favorite bunches of markers that I own. <laughs> They're just so pretty. Alright. Press the waters here. Yeah, that'll work. I got these markers at Hobby Lobby. Uh, one time when me and my grandma went up to go to Hobby Lobby. Because we don't have one in the town I live in. But there's one in like an hour and a half or so away. And she was like, hey, Hobby Lobby just opened. So do you want to go and with me up to go see it? And I was like, yeah, that'd be awesome. So we went up to Hobby Lobby. And I had a little bit of a budget, but not much. Uh, my fiance, this is actually before we got engaged. But uh, uh, we've lived together for like a year. But that's awesome topic my bad uh <laughs> he gave me like 40 dollars to go spend at hobby lobby he's just like hey have fun uh i'm gonna go to work while you go do that and here's like 40 dollars go buy some awesome art stuff and i was like cool so uh when grandma and i went i was i had mostly had copic markers before this uh but you know they're so expensive and i can't find the refills for them anywhere uh so, I was looking around the store, and I saw all these markers, and they had, like, this whole set, and they were, like, $30, and I had a coupon, plus Andrew's money, so I was like, bingo, I know what I'm getting myself, so I got these awesome markers, and they've lasted me for, I think I've had them for, like, a year and a half now, and look at how vibrant this pink is, it's still pretty great. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a tannish brown. Maybe. No, oh, that's more of a skin color. We don't want that one. Maybe this one? That'll work. Oh, something else that's exciting that I haven't uh, told anyone yet, besides my family. Um, I got into the 60th anniversary gallery show at Haas Gallery in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Uh, so that's pretty exciting. Um, it's a student show. It's going to be at the college uh, that I go to. It's like... Um, it's a juried show, so like you submit through your artwork, and the judges uh, judge you based on quite a few different um, uh, different cases of like your art, and they they you submit what you want to submit online, and you get contacted if you get in. And I have submitted for it before, but I've never gotten chosen before. But they picked my artwork this this year, so I'm really excited because I've never had my artwork like in a professional gallery before. Um, 
guys, I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. Oh no, my marker's running out. No. Oh, that's not good. Oh no. I don't know if I have another marker that's like this color. Oh crap. Oh, this is not good. Oh no. Please last for one more arm. You can do it. Here's hoping, you guys. <laughs> I hate it when my markers run out. I just, like, never know how long they're going to last me once they start, you know? It's like, okay, do you have the rest of this commission time to run? Or are you going to, like, die on me, like, right now? <laughs> you know? And that's not good when you're working because your client wants this done. Oh, it's giving out. It's giving out. Come on, marker, you can do it. Come on, a little more. Oh yeah, look at that. Come on, a little more. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh crap, I got this part too. Oh, okay, we got this, we got this, come on. We got this. Cross your fingers, guys. We just have the bottom part left, come on. Okay, come on. Okay. Yes. Okay, one more side. And then we'll have to throw this marker away. <laughs> Just as I got done talking about how awesome these markers are because I've had them for so long. This is what happens when you have markers for a long time. They run out eventually. <laughs> oh, well, they've given me quite a good run, so. I'm not complaining. Oh, we did it. Look at that. Goodbye, marker. I just threw it and it rolled across the kitchen floor. <laughs> uh, I am totally, like, streaming this on my floor <laughs> in the living room. I don't like tables. I don't know why. I just, I don't feel comfortable drawing, like, on my desk. Like, I, if sometimes if my back, like, really hurts, I'll go draw on my desk, but... Usually, I, I prefer, like, the floor or something, and I don't know why. <sighs> Alright, what color should we do the name now? I feel like if we do pink, it'll be too much pink. Maybe if we do, like, this magenta color, it's a little bit different color pink. I don't know if we'll be able to see the difference on the camera, though. I can't wait to get, like, a real, like, actual filming camera. I'm totally just using a digital camera right now. Um, but it's got a tripod, so that's something, right? Oh, that looks pretty. I like that. That looks nice. Alright guys, the only thing that's left for this piece is to, oh, put my name on it would be good, right? <laughs> there we go. Alright, now that all that's left to do is to pick out a background uh, paper for underneath it and cut it out. So, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll get you a close-up shot. Hold on. Forgive the shakiness. <laughs> there we go. And the red glare from the recording light. But yeah, that's that's Rebel. Alright, thanks for watching everyone. Bye.